Hi, I'm Andy and this is Investing Book Highlights. I started reading investing books two years ago. I took it to heart when I learned that the best investors in the world read and they read a lot and they read a variety of different topics. Investing Book Highlights is here to help investors navigate the large selection of investing books available. So when I read a book with my yellow highlighter, I highlight important sentences or passages. Some books I'll highlight a lot, some books I'll highlight a few, and some books I don't make any highlights at all. Highlighting when you read is something I definitely encourage. Rule 1 was the 10th investing book I read. Written by Phil Town in 2006, I purchased it on April 23, 2019. It has 330 pages and I made highlights on 103 pages. Following on from Invested, it was only natural to then read Phil's books and in a few weeks I'll also do payback. But for now, let's look at some highlights from Rule 1. And the first is on page 35. In essence, Rule 1 is just about being a good shopper. I'm reminded of this highlight when I shop for washing machine liquid. The bottle I purchase costs $10 and every month or two it goes on sale for $5. That's when I light up the trolley. And that's how I want to invest in the businesses I follow when they're on sale. I hate it when I run out of liquid and buy a bottle when it's not on sale. That's also how I'd feel if I invested in companies when they're not on sale. The second highlight is from page 83. When you gain more experience, all you have to do is look at the big five and the wonderful businesses just jump off the page. The big five Phil mentions here are the big four mentioned in Invested. There are actually six big numbers and both books cover all six. But let's look at the highlight. I spoke about another highlight in the Invested video which is similar to this one. Clearly, these highlights resonate with me. In the investor video, it was realizing that I only need to pay attention to a handful of financial numbers. From this highlight, when you've spent time looking at those numbers, you get to a stage when looking at a company's figures for the last 10 years on sites like Yahoo, Morningstar, or QuickFS, where you can work out in about 10 seconds whether it's a company worth delving deeper into or not. Honestly, when following Phil's parameters, it is just that quick. It's like a superpower. The third and final highlight is on pages 191 and 192. It takes a typical fund manager about 6 to 12 weeks to get fully invested in a stock or to get completely out. I never realized that us little investors have an advantage over the big guys. It just never occurred to me that with the vast amounts of money that they control, that it takes time to move it. It really takes the stress out of wiring about getting in or out before they do. In fact, in comparison to them, we have all the time in the world. And that is a huge advantage. Thank you, Phil Town, for writing Rule 1. In each video, I tally up the cost of the books I've read. As this was book 10, the total cost is $243.09, and that's in Australian dollars. To help build this channel, please click like and subscribe, and leave a comment or question below, and I'll be sure to follow up. And I hope your day is full of highlights.